Today is a deadlift day, in particular a max effort day. Start out with rack pulls at the knee level, which works the lower back. There is very little leg drive at this position. As you can see, it's right a little bit above the knee, or should I say right at the knee. So 135, then moving on to 225. These will be my warm-up sets. And then afterwards, it's time for singles. It'll be 315. Then 405. Getting psyched up, getting ready. That wasn't bad. Then 495. Then 585. I wish I was stronger at this position, so I'm really going to have to work this position because I feel it's key for my deadlift to get stronger at this position. It's a static position. 585 moved. Then I went to 635. And I had problems with this weight. One side moved up, the other side didn't, so I just called it a day and dropped the weight down. Went down to 455. Just did a single. And I ended up doing three sets of one. Just working on the pull. Then afterwards it was incline rows. I did six sets of eight using the same weight. I'm really trying to get a lot of high volume work in my rows with the lighter weight so that's why I'm doing so many sets. These are great because what they do is they work your lats and when you're actually pulling you're pulling towards your your hips so you're really getting your entire lat not just your upper back. Alright and then afterwards it was pull downs and on pull downs I end up doing four sets increasing the weight each set I'm using a mag pull-up attachment. This is my favorite grip right here. Then we're, afterwards I tried something new. What I was trying to do is some standing rows. And I end up doing a few sets of those. Actually three sets of eight. And then afterwards it was time for reverse hypers. Three sets of ten. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below.